Okay, so first and foremost, um, I'd like to say that I love this bag. I just got it at Christmas time. I know they've been out forever, but I was always against like the multi-rotational wheels until I had to take a flight to every airport in Texas in a couple of hours and ended up at the same airport that I started in and realized how important and functional and handy it is to have these kind of wheels because I had to go in and out and in and out and everywhere around a ton of people when a flight was canceled and um, I will never go back again. So just saying these little multifunctional roller blade wheels are amazing and I would definitely give them 10 stars, thumbs up, gotta have it. Essential to me now. Okay, so uh, turquoise is my favorite color. If you haven't noticed, all of my <laughs> decorations are beachy. I do live at the beach in Florida, so Costa Rica is not going to be a huge weather or climate change for me, but um, I just can't wait to see all the beautiful views and wild animals and just new people and all kinds of different traditions, and I just can't tell you how thrilled I am. So, with that said, I did not pack this how I normally would pack it because I just threw it all in here so I could show you guys the video and then I'll show you how I actually roll my clothes and make everything fit so that I've got plenty of extra room if I want to bring stuff home. So I will start with the essentials in my opinion. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, Costa Del Mar hats and I think it's great for a beach day or it's um, on the tail end of the rainy season in Costa Rica so if I'm having like a crazy wild hair day or I just don't feel like washing it that morning I can just throw my cap on and go and I also I'm gonna bring my fedora this is actually a newer one it sells the tag on it I haven't worn it yet but it'll be great to keep the sun off my face and it's just a little dressy or something to wear over my head if I'm having a rough hair day um, instead of the baseball cap. So, um, I just know with my crazy curly hair and the humidity, it can be a little wild and I want to get lots of vlog footage and some great photos, so I definitely need to be prepared for a bad hair day or two. Okay, so my next essential would be dun -dun -dun -dun, a large scarf and I will tell you many reasons why. Um, some hotels that you go to provide you separate beach towels and some don't. And the last thing you want to do is take your bath towel down to the beach and then have to dry off with it after your shower. You just end up sand again. So in that case, um, you can actually lay on this. I'm not worried about my body getting sandy, but I might fold it in half so that I can lay my head on it kind of as a pillow so my face isn't in the sand. Um, I can also use it when I'm wearing my swimsuit either long or half folded and whoop, I just kind of go like this so if I want to go into a restaurant but I don't want to be like in my you know two-piece swimsuit showing everybody everything that does that and then again if I have another crazy hair day which yes I do prepare for a lot of crazy hair days I will put it over my head like so ouch not when my hair is in a ponytail usually but Anyway, usually I will put my hair down and then I'll just kind of tie it like this or I'll make a bow, whatever. So, so, so handy. Plus, when you're on any kind of open air bus or um, any kind of, what is this doing? Transportation when it's at night when the sun's starting to go down and you get a little chilly, you can always just put it over you to keep your shoulders warm. It's really got so many, so many uses definitely need that. Okay, so where did it go? My next essential would be a swimsuit. Uh, a lot of people would say to bring two. I usually bring a reversible one so that I'm not wearing the same swimsuit, the same swimsuit in all my photos, but I've gotten to the age, I'm 35 now, I don't really care. I live in Florida, people know I own like 10 swimsuits. I'm just bringing my favorite one that dries the fastest. And I'm bringing the darker colored one so that just in case it were to get a little dirty or spot on it, you won't know when you wear it the next day. 
Um, the only reason that some people bring two is they say, like, well, when one is drying, you can wear the other one. I mean, I don't really see that as a problem because it's going to be, like, 90 degrees, so I'm just going to, like, wring it out, hang it outside to let it sun dry, and by the time I want to go to the beach again, it'll be ready to go. So, one swimsuit. I bring a separate little beach bag, and this is just going to be, like, the lightest weight, smallest bag you have to throw your beach towels in and, you know, maybe a bottle of water or some snacks or beer or whatever it is you're taking with you. And I can't remember exactly how this goes, but it is very handy. I have a couple of these, and they all work a little differently. One has, like, a little bag it goes in, but I always lose the bag. So this is pretty handy because it just snaps like that, and you're like, oh, my bag. Okay. Next, I am bringing my favorite pair of flip-flops. They are black and brown, so they're neutral, they're comfortable, they go with everything. I've walked miles in them, and I just know they're going to be good. Um, these are rainbows, they have great arch support, they can get wet, they dry fast, kind of a no-brainer. They go with everything I'm going to wear, so boom. And I'm wearing them on the plane, so they're not even going, I can't talk today. I'm going to wear them on the plane, so they're not even going to go in my luggage. Extra bonus. Okay. Now, down to the clothing. I am going to bring three pairs of shorts. Some might say that's excessive, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do laundry. I don't want to have to do laundry while we're there. I highly doubt we're going to have anywhere to do laundry, so I just want to make sure in case one pair gets soaking wet or really dirty, because I plan on wearing them a couple times each. So I've got my go-to just good old plain khakis, a pair of like kind of faded black shorts, and my favorite go-to jean shorts, which need to go in the washer. But of course they go with everything and they wear really well and they don't show dirt. So three pairs of shorts. Then I'm going to bring, I think I have three shirts in here. I'm supposed to. Da, 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 da. Can't figure out how this goes. Okay. This is not how you're going to pack this, I promise, because otherwise it's going to be all wrinkled. Come on. Okay. One shirt. And if you notice, it goes with all three pairs of shorts. So no matter what shorts I wear, it matches. And I'm going to wear this plain blue one, which goes with all three shorts. Awesome sauce. And I just keep it simple. I try to keep kind of the same color palette so you can mix and match if something gets dirty and you're like, oh, I only can wear that shirt with these pants. That doesn't really work. So anyway, a nice long, or not long sleeve, a nice sleeveless, Lord, a uh, white tank top that obviously goes with all three. Like I said, I'll probably buy a shirt or tank top while I'm there, which will be my seventh outfit. So that I've got three shorts and three tank tops. I'm bringing a casual all cotton sundress um, that is just great for like casual daytime, wear my flip flops, I can put a little money in here if I want to. It's just basic, cozy, and beachy. The next one is pretty much the only thing I'm going to wear that is a little more dressy, and this is just for if we decide to go out to dinner one night to like a little bit of a fancier place. Not fancy, but just, you know, dress it up a little bit, have fun. And this, of course, will still go with my flip-flops. So, we have that. Um, oops. Okay. Uh, what I did is I packed <clears throat> at night. It can get a little chilly. Especially if you've got sunburnt during the day when it's 80 or 90 out. So it gets to like below 70s. So I don't know if it's going to be cool in the room or not. And if we want to go for like an early morning walk on the beach, I just brought some of my kind of like workout leggings that are capri. And they can also be worn during the day with any one of those shirts. Um, and then I just brought like some sleep shorts, which can also be worn out if I want to take like a little morning walk or sunset walk on the beach. And I brought one t-shirt that I plan on sleeping in, which I can still, I can wear it out also, but I don't plan on it. And it's one of my favorite. It, I used to work at Margaritaville, and we live in a spring bake, ugh. I'm going to have to do some bloopers of this video. We live in a spring break destination. So, for spring break a couple years ago, they all gave us these shirts that says, I've been drunk now for over two weeks, Margaritaville, Panama City Beach. I just thought that'd be a fun thing. I think I even spilled some red wine on it, so it's not usually something I'll wear out, but it's fun to kind of sleep in or just like throw on with maybe my leggings to grab a quick bite to eat, like, you know, just walking around, whatever. Okay. Oh, 
And then I have two extra tank tops, and these are to sleep in or throw over um, my swimsuit if we are, like, going to go in, like, an open-air bus or something to the beach and it's still a little cool out. You notice I tried to make everything kind of match. That goes with that. This can go with that. So it's just really mix and match. So that's really not much. That's all I'm bringing for clothes. Um, and then... Since we are at the end of the rainy season, there's a good chance a few of the days it will rain. And they say most of the time in the morning it's nice out. That's when you get the sunshine and your beach time in. And the afternoon generally is rainy. So I brought the lightest weight and it's got like flaps to get air and it's just super lightweight. Um, just kind of like a rain resistant jacket just so in case it pours down I've got a little something. So that is it for my clothes folks. Okay. Obviously, you want to bring some sunglasses. Always got to have your shades. Definitely need that. Okay. Um, I usually bring a few snacks for just if we're on a long ride to somewhere, we're stuck between airports or whatever. I just like to bring a few granola bars for some protein so you don't have to pay like, you know, $20 for uh, a ham sandwich. Okay. Next my medications which are marked and have my name and my prescription because I am traveling out of the country sometimes they do require your prescription be with the medication so I got that and a wine opener because I love my wine and they're like 10 bucks when you buy them um, when you're traveling I don't want to do that so it's going with me um, because I'm carrying this on they may take it. Sometimes I can take it and they don't say anything. They don't care. But, um, I mean, what am I going to do? Like corkscrew somebody? I don't, I don't really know. But anyway, sometimes they let me take it. Sometimes they take it away. It's a 50-50. Alright. Headphones for the jack to my cell phone because if you guys watched my uh, previous video I did, I was recording with my iPad and I tried to stick my audio jack in the iPad and it got stuck in there and broke really bummed about that so I'm not going to bother to bring my iPad. It doesn't have sound right now because it still thinks that there's earphones or like an ear jack plugged into it, which there is part of it broken off so it has no sound. So if I need to use internet I'm just going to use my phone and in case I need to be quiet. There's my head. Okay. Um, I plan on doing lots of vlogging and uh, photo, not photo shoots, but lots of, uh, I want to get lots of photos. So, I just got this for Christmas, so I'm still trying to figure out where all my stuff's at in there, but um, I am actually shooting right now with my big, uh, nicer DSLR camera by Nikon, and I will not be taking that on my trip. I'm going to take my older Sony A5000, I believe it is, and it's just, it's great because it's small, it's pretty lightweight, and it's great for vlogging because it's got this handy-dandy screen where you can actually see if you're in the photo or not so anyway that's what I'll be taking and I've got a battery and SD card in here then I've got two backup batteries with a double backup charger and uh, extra SD cards and you know memory sticks of course I've got all my other camera gear and what the only thing that doesn't fit in this bag which I guess I could probably shove it in since it's one of those like crazy woo, flexible things I'm sure I could fit in there but it's just not necessary for me right now. So, anyway, I have... It's supposed to do that. Okay. These are very handy for travel. You can stick them on the sidewalk. You can wrap it around a tree, a pole. Uh, you can stick pretty much anywhere. It's awesome. So, I definitely suggest you get one of these. My camera that I'm going to be using with this actually just screws right on top of it. But if yours, if you buy one and it doesn't, they have all kinds of different... Um, like, uh, not extensions, but anyway, you can make it fit, trust me. Okay, so anyway, moving on, that is that. This is starting to look like a lot. This might be a lot. Some people might think this is not minimalism packing. This is what I call minimalism packing safely, not having to do laundry. I have definitely left out my underwear and bras because I'm pretty sure that's a given, and if it's not, Maybe you should go buy some bra and underwear if that was not part of your travel plan. Just saying. Alright, 
so <clears throat> this is my handy dandy little what I call like a shower bag. This is all of my toiletries. I've got a uh, one of those like in shower rubber flexible combs, wide tooth for curly hair. So you can kind of just um, detangle it without ruining your hair and pulling it out. A disposable toothbrush, a little travel disposable toothpaste, some deodorant, uh, disposable razor, shower, oops, shower cap for when I don't feel like washing my hair, a little hair bandana. I've got some Bumble and Bumble travel size shampoo and conditioners, which I'll probably grab one more out of my kit and bring with me. Some soap, just in case the hotel doesn't have any. Um, some Nip and Fab exfoliating serum. I love this stuff. If you've never tried it, check it out. Uh, then I have my Bumble and Bumble Roll, bleh, Bum, Bumble and Bumble Curl Cream. I am tongue twisted today. I just had this leftover Avita bottle, so I just took the cap off and filled it with my Bumble and Bumble Curl Cream. And I'll probably pack two more of these, and that should be good for my trip. I have a lot of hair, and it's, it could be a hot mess. Okay, um, then I have my Origins CC Complexion Contract. Uh, I'm totally making a bloopers video. Complexion Corrector with SPF 20. So not only does it moisturize, it smooths out your skin, um, just kind of texture, and it's got all kinds of good stuff in it. And it's got sunscreen, so that's a plus. All right, uh, I've got my little handy dandy travel blow dryer, which I don't know that I'll bring this time because it's gonna be pretty hot there and I think my hair will dry pretty quick, but in the winter time, I bring this because this is pretty awesome. I have hair ties and bobby pins. And the only other thing that I'm gonna bring makeup wise, and this will probably be like, maybe if we go to dinner or a night out, some, maybe, some blush by Tarte. Uh, one of my favorite mascaras, uh, by Duce, I believe it's called. Deuce? Deuce? Douse? Duce. I'm not sure. Punk Volumizer Mascara. This stuff rocks. And then I got this little uh, Sex Kitten by Tarte Black Eyeliner, which was perfect. It came in my Ipsy box this month in my unboxing, and it's just great for travel size. So that's pretty much all that's going in there. And if you're staying in a hostel or camping or staying anywhere where you share a shower, uh, this time we will not be doing that but um, if you do it's really nice to be able to have this bag where all your little toiletry goodies are put together and I'm just kind of shoving this in here but it does pack pretty nicely and you basically can just there and you're ready and you just grab a towel and you're good to go so last but not least I have what I call kind of my it's like purse just all my necessities and it's got some body lotion some face sunscreen uh, wet wipes for obvious reasons Advil uh, bug spray whole body sunscreen anti-itch cream because if there is a bug in this world it will find me and eat me alive I just don't know I've eaten enough garlic that I should like ward off anything for like centuries but it just doesn't work Tide pin and my last but not least, da -da -da -da, favorite product, which kind of surprises me even, is um, this Lip Vibrance by Blistex because not only does it, and I don't even really like Blistex, like the regular product, sorry Blistex, but I just don't. But this puppy is beautiful. Let me see if you can see this. It is absolutely gorgeous. Can you see that? Anyway, I'll try to put it in here. There. So it's moisturizing for those long days in the sun. It has SPF 15, and my favorite bonus part, it has a mirror. Oh yeah, can you see that? It has a mirror, guys. So you can be like, mm, make sure you got it all on, you can get it on your teeth, or you don't have any food in your teeth. Perfect, in my opinion. So that is it, folks. That is it, it's all gonna go in here. And I'm about to show you how I pack it all in here and still have plenty of room to bring some stuff home. Okay right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how we quickly roll this all up and get it packed so we can get out of here. Okay. I always suggest 
Ugh. I swear, I don't know why I can't talk today, but for me, it's easiest to zip anything that has zippers. And then you're just going to roll like you would when you're a little kid having a sleepover in your sleeping bag. So I will, oops, this has straps in it. Like I said, this is a new one, so I'm not quite used to this one, but anyway, that will go in there. And you guys I don't know if I told you but um, a great thing to do with this is make sure you keep all your valuables in it um, because you never want to leave anything in your rental car or your hotel and I also like to put my little what I call my little purse or my necessity bag I end up putting that in there when we go anywhere so that I just know that all my stuff is protected so um, if you guys have any questions or comments please leave them below I would love to know where you guys are taking your next vacation and if you have any traveling hacks or packing tips i would appreciate you sharing them below if you have not subscribed please do so i would love to see all of you back again i enjoyed um, sharing this video with you and i'll see y'all again soon thanks so much i can't wait to be in costa rica more to come i'll be vlogging